Hi, I'm here with Jashi Chopra, who is from India um, and representing India at the MVP Summit. And um, I know you do a bit of uh, SharePoint stuff, is that right? Yes, that is correct. Yes. I'm predominantly a SharePoint guy. Uh, yeah, but a very geeky person from heart, uh, <laughs> you know, non-Microsoft stuff as well, quite a lot. Favorite kind of person. Yeah. We're all a bit geeky, I think. Yeah, I um, so, first of all, I think we should probably just, you know, just explain what is SharePoint, because there may be some viewers that don't know. Okay, uh, so uh, in non-technical terms, uh, um, it's, uh, for me, it's like a Swiss Army knife. So you have to be very careful and understand the tool, what its capabilities are, otherwise you're gonna end up uh, uh, you know, hurting yourself and bleeding if you don't know how to use the tool in the first place. It started off as a, a very strong content management system, but yeah. now it's, it's, it's considered as a platform where you can uh, do pretty much anything and everything. Doesn't mean you should. <laughs> <laughs> it is something of everything. It's, it's used by a lot of big companies, is that right? That is correct. Yeah. Huge corporations, a lot of them have invested in it uh, on, on premises and, and on yeah. cloud as well. Yeah. So uh, the ship on online momentum has kicked in for quite a few years now, yeah. which has made it very exciting. Mm -hmm. And now the pivoting is happening from uh, 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 different kind of technologies and, and cloud infrastructure where uh, you have a, a, a blockchain coming into picture, you have AI, you have ML, uh -huh. and uh, uh, then you have serverless computing, you have uh, Docker containerization, so yeah, everything is, uh, uh, you can leverage pretty much everything and uh, anything in, 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 in innovative ways uh, yep. with yep. business processes. The key here is to unlocking your data that already exists yep. in, in SharePoint and integrating that further with your CRM system, with your finance uh, ERP systems or mm -hmm. other silo systems that you have, maybe your change management, ticketing system, whatever you have, yeah, and, 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 and using Azure as an integration point uh, over there and doing automation on top of it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you have to really, from a solution architecture perspective, you have to think out of the box and, and understand what these technologies are capable of. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the hindsight, uh, um, you have to understand that uh, uh, don't make your solution uh, uh, um, from 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 a very short-sighted perspective, you have to uh, uh, you have to think about the one-year, two-year, five-year, ten-year run down the line. So the customer is happy. Yeah, you, you have to you have to think it think it from that perspective. But yeah, uh, with the with a change of pace in the technology, uh, Microsoft has shunned some services, and uh, sometimes you become a victim, if I have to say that. But uh, 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 but no, they've, they've been pretty good in terms of uh, uh, giving you guidance on how to get out of it and, and get yourself migrated and, uh, you know, putting out all the alerts uh, out there in, in time so you know what's coming, yeah. what's getting deprecated and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, getting you to a modern era, you, you have to make those moves and, and be there, yeah. out, uh, be out there and uh, get yourself ahead of the curve instead of lagging behind. So you mentioned the word integration, yes. and to me that's pretty central to all of Azure, really, because Absolutely. Azure loves everybody. We yes. see that we're now getting Java in there, but there's Python, there's, uh, if you're a, a DevOps person, if you're a developer, if you're an IT, like everything. Yeah. So it's integration is, is a key for me when I use Azure. Is that sort of where SharePoint now, now fits in? Uh, absolutely, uh, I would definitely agree with that statement. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think, uh, uh, from a strategy perspective as well, uh, uh, the, the companies and the senior leadership should 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 think about how they can leverage this integration as well yeah. and go beyond uh, what's just uh, on the technical and the IT side of it. And, and uh, yes, bringing business and IT has been a challenge for yeah. Yeah. a long time. And that I think will not go away anytime soon. No, 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 no. So the thought process uh, has to start very differently between these teams, and and, and uh, yeah, not just the integration from the technical side, but from the relationships uh, and on the on the people side as well, on how they want to see these different uh, uh, IT technologies coming up and and leveraging them in mm. in a way which benefits them together yeah. rather than earlier it was like oh i don't care what you're doing on the it side or on the data center side uh, but now uh, they have to talk to each other and and figure out how to best work for each other one way or the other yeah no i, I agree it's it's yeah. yeah it's with anything it you go you got to talk to the other people right yes. so okay so if i want to start using sharepoint on azure and say i might not be in azure developer maybe or i am where do i go what what's the first sort of step right so if you think uh, so there, there is something called office 365 developer subscription out there so mm -hmm. if you don't know SharePoint, you want to start with it 
sign up for that subscription. It's uh, free for 12 months and you get some licenses, basic licenses to get yourself started. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of uh, tutorials available. Uh, go to docs.microsoft.com, a phenomenal uh, uh, um, platform that they've put together for documentation yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, for you to learn uh, uh, the basics and, and get your baby steps started, uh, yeah. starting. Uh, but if you really want to look into the integration part uh, with SharePoint and Azure, uh, you want to look at technologies like Flow, uh, how webhooks work, how serverless Azure functions and uh, server uh, Azure automation and uh, these other past services also uh, uh, work and, and see where. Uh, so so don't, don't start with technology, start with what you really want to achieve for your business side. Sure. Yep. So if you have a use case scenario, uh, then do the research on, okay, what will get me where and how, mm -hmm. and then see the life cycle management of yep. how this is going to work out for your customer in, in one year, two year, five year, 10 year pipeline, yep. and, and lay it out for them or lay it out for your POC or your own hobby project. And, 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 and execute it. No, I agree, yeah, don't. As much as we all like just pressing all the buttons, maybe do a little bit of research, especially with something like SharePoint, because as you said, it's a Swiss army knife of absolutely everything, and you yeah. can get everything and you get overwhelmed. So yeah. that's been really, really helpful and insightful, and thank you, Jashit, for uh, taking your time thank to you so be on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers. Thank you so much for having me.